Somalia has condemned a deal reached between Ethiopia and the breakaway region of Somaliland. In it, Addis Ababa recognizes Somaliland as an independent country. Landlocked Ethiopia signed the agreement to gain access to the Red Sea. The government in Mogadishu has recalled its ambassador from Ethiopia. Somalia says the deal is a violation of international law and is pledging to defend its territory by any legal means. Matt Bryden is a strategic advisor with Sahan Research, a think tank based in Nairobi, Kenya. Welcome to DW. First, can you tell us more about this agreement between Ethiopia and Somaliland? Well, at this stage, there isn't a great deal to say. Uh, what we've seen is a, a summary of the Memorandum of Understanding. And um, what it says is that essentially uh, that Ethiopia will obtain access to um, the Red Sea to a, uh, a place that will serve as a base for Ethiopian maritime or naval assets and may also provide some commercial access um, for as an outlet for Ethiopia to the sea. In exchange for that, Ethiopia would be prepared to offer diplomatic recognition to Somaliland. But much of this is not yet official. We've heard it in statements from the Somaliland government. We've heard parts of the, the uh, MOU, the agreement from the Ethiopian government. That, by the way, also includes potentially a share in Ethiopian airlines for the Somaliland authorities. Um, but we haven't yet seen the full text. And there's some time remaining before full implementation of the agreement would come into effect. Mm -hmm. What in that memorandum that you have seen at this point do you think is so worrying to Somalia that it will recall its envoy to Ethiopia? Oh, no question it's worrying um, for a number of reasons. One is that Ethiopia has reached an agreement with uh, the government of Somaliland, which has been functioning as an independent uh, polity for the last 30-odd years, since 1991, and has been aspiring to independent statehood. Um, this would seem to be uh, the first time that a foreign government is ready to recognize Somaliland as an independent state. Mm. Now, Somalia doesn't exercise effective control over most of its territory. So although it claims juridical sovereignty, and this is clearly a threat to that sovereignty and to Somalia's territorial integrity. Um, at the same time, Somalia can't really practically do very much about it. So it's a, it is concern. Uh, to Mogadishu, and the Somali government is using all of the diplomatic and juridical instruments at its disposal. It's launched a counteroffensive diplomatically to prevent this from happening, but practically it's not clear what Somalia could do. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for regional security and stability, or what could it mean? In the short term, probably not very much. What we're seeing is a, a lot of posturing and rhetoric from Ethiopia or from Somaliland and from Somalia. From Ethiopia, we haven't yet heard much in the way of response. Um, Somaliland has been fairly stable uh, and secure. It patrols over 800 kilometers of the Gulf of Aden Red Sea corridor, where there is currently a problem with um, with Houthi attacks on shipping and where we've seen piracy in the past, Somaliland has contributed to international security there. But this could create competition on the one hand between Somalia and its allies like Eritrea, potentially Egypt, members of the African Union and Arab League, and then Ethiopia on the other side and Somaliland, which also have African Union allies, Arab League allies. And I think we could see a division within and between these blocks of states as they try to determine what's the best way forward to resolve this dispute. Yeah. We only have about 30 seconds left, but I don't want to let you go without asking you if you see any diplomatic solution that would be acceptable to all sides here. Well, diplomatically, um, this agreement comes almost 24 hours after Somaliland and Somalia's heads of state, their presidents were talking in the neighboring uh, country of Djibouti to try and resolve this impasse. But more than 12 rounds of talks have failed, and this is probably why Somaliland is seeking unilateral recognition. So I think the solution diplomatically would be for the two parties to come together to chart a serious political path. That is. That was Matt Bryden in Nairobi. Thank you so much for that. Thank you.